where is the best place to shop online in this video we're going to be talking about two different online marketing companies which the first one is jumia and the next one is ishtari and what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be looking at their products their price their delivery and so many others if you find this video interesting make sure you stick to the end and get to know more about these two apps which is commonly used by people to shop online and buy so many things so stay tuned jumia and ishtari is actually an online app which people commonly use for the ishtari the ishtari is a, is a lebanon company that is operating in lebanon and in ghana where the Jumia app is currently in so many African countries. Jumia started in the year 2012 and they have so many delivery outlets and a whole lot. They are not only into selling of electronics products like television, fridge, phones and a whole lot. They are also into groceries and a whole lot of things which you can see on your screen. So Jumia started operation in 2012 and since then they've been going and Jumia can also be seen as an African Amazon. We all know Amazon which is being used by the, the European countries to buy and shop things online without you going to the normal, the usual marketing which is same as the Jumia. The Jumia is actually used to buy and shop things online. Because of how well they've been able to do, Jumia can be located in a whole lot of African countries. So some of the countries Jumia can be found is in Nigeria, Algeria, Egypt, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Kenya, Morocco, then Senegal, which is the last country in which Jumia can be traced. And Jumia has logistics network of more than 20 warehouses, 1,300 drop-off stations and pick-up stations in these African countries that I mentioned. You can see that Jumia has already been in the system for long and not just been in the system for long in the process of doing the distribution and people purchasing things online jumia has been in the market for long they've actually known the market and they've been able to create branches official outlet and a whole lot and if this is your first time please don't forget to click on the subscribe button now for the ishtari the ishtari is a lebanon app and they are into electronics home and kitchen appliances garden and outdoor appliance sport and fitness baby and toys tools and many others this history app was launched in the year 2011 which means you can see that the history app has been existing even before the jumia started the history started on the year 2011 while the jumia started on the year 2012 but for the history app it's commonly used by the lebanon and why the jumia is commonly being used by the african countries but now the history app is currently in Ghana and Lebanon, which they are currently in two countries, you can compare them with Jumia. But when you go to their site, when you download the application on the Play Store, you can see that they have a whole lot of products just like the Jumia app. But I'm going to let you know some of the problems I encountered using this app, some of the good and the bad aspects of these two applications in which I encountered and, and I'm also going to give my honest opinion at the end of this video. The Ishtari also can also be compared to the Amazon which is also an online shopping app but they don't have much branches compared to the Jumia and the Amazon. So the Ishtari only works in Ghana and Lebanon. What I discovered about the Ishtari app is that they have a whole lot of products as you can see on your screen they have a whole lot of products in which they are actually selling the electronics and a whole lot drone mobile phones and a whole lot of electronic in which they are actually selling same as the Jumia but for the Ishtari the delivery of their products they have what they call cash upon delivery which simply means you can pay when you order things online you can pay during the delivery of the product to you. Unlike the Jumia, the Jumia doesn't have that service even though they have much branches in most of the West African countries. Jumia already has the stand, they have the products, they have everything, they have the, the, the delivery outlet and a whole lot. But for the Ishtari, that's where my problem actually is because you can see that they are mainly in two countries which is Lebanon and Ghana. So I went through the Ishtari app and went through their products. I'm mainly interested in their tech products, though they have other products and other things. I went through their product. I discovered that the 
each tariff will also have a whole lot of ranges of products compared to the junior. Which means if you're someone that used to shop on junior, you can also shop at the each tariff, which is the same thing. I tried ordering some of the products and they asked me if I should pay or uh, upon delivery. So I selected the upon delivery. After some time, what happened was that they called me, they have their agents which are online, they called me to ask if I'm the one that made this purchase of this product and I told them yes. So they asked if it should be delivered. They called mainly to confirm the product delivery because I've already filled my information, my delivery address and a whole lot. I find this interesting and I think it's similar. Jumia also did search with the Jumia app. I tried making some orders but on the Jumia also which I'm going to be showing you. I tried making some orders but it wasn't going. But I chat with their customer care online through the app and when I tried them not long they also contacted me and asked me for my order if I'm still interested in the product. I think this is also good for these two apps but I have problem with the Jumia app because there's no cash upon delivery services so you have to make sure you make the payment so if you don't have the mobile money for making the payment or your bank or your debit card in which you want to use to make the payments that means if you don't have any of these two things you can't actually shop online and i think that's why they call it online shopping you have to you need to have these things but for the each story they make it simple for anyone to order so once you make the order they can call you to confirm the, the product in which you are purchasing them they will deliver it to you and also another thing i discovered about this two app is that for the each tariff, i looked at that their delivery dates is faster compared to the junior but do everything depends on their delivery outlets where they have the product some of these products are being shipped outside of some are available but from the each tariff, from their adverts in which they are doing they say that they have all these stocks at their warehouse and i don't know how true this actually is but for the junior i bought i made purchase of three different products and they called me to confirm they sent me a confirmation message let me know that one of the products will be delivered the following day why the other ones will take close to two weeks or some days to be shipped because the products are actually not in their warehouse which i comparing them to each time each time it delivers faster compared to junior that's just my personal opinion and the other thing i also discovered about the junior and the each time i also looked at their prices apart from looking at the products in which they have junior has more products than each time and each time itself has products but you can't compare them because i searched for some things on junior which when i went to each time i couldn't get it and junior is actually easier while searching for stuff there's a way they build their app whereby you can easily search for stuff easily whatsoever you want to buy you can see all this with discount on them same as Ishtari Ishtari app I find it difficult searching for things but at the end of the day I discovered that some of the things I was able to see or get the prices on Jumia I'm unable to get them on the Ishtari because they are not available what I discovered is that the Ishtari app doesn't have more products, more suppliers, products to be delivered compared to the Jumia. If you are someone that wants to buy things online or shop online, I just want to let you know that some of the things which you'll be looking for, you'll get on Jumia. Some of these things you may not get them on the Ishtari app. Some of them are. The Ishtari app is limited. They have certain products in which they mainly specialize on the fitness products and a whole lot of tables and a whole lot of things in which you get over there. But Jumia is actually general. Jumia even deliver food and a whole lot of things and even water. You can see that. You can't actually compare these two in terms of products and in terms of delivery. And another thing I find interesting about them is their prices. Their prices, which I said before, their prices are almost similar. But what I discovered is that some of the products I got in Jumia were a little bit lesser when you compare the discounts on these products. Some of their prices are a little bit lesser than the Ishtari. To me, I think in terms of prices, Jumia as the best price and some of the products I also looked at on the Ishtari and the Junior I saw that the Ishtari app also have some products that their, pro their prices are less but for what I was shopping at as at the time in which I went to look at these two apps online I discovered that some of the tech products are actually quite cheaper on Junior compared to the Ishtari 
this is what I discovered. I discovered their prices are different. Some products are cheaper on each time, right? Some products are cheaper on June. So if you are someone that is looking for a cheaper product, I would advise or recommend you go through these two apps and compare their prices before making any purchase. With all this explanation, with everything I've said, I believe I'm able to convince and also to convince you if you are a fan base of the junior app or you're a fan base of the Ishtar app and I hope I've been able to convince you that these two apps are actually good. It's all depends on your interest, which of the app in which you wish to use to make your online purchase and the decision is actually in your hand, not in mine because I myself, it all depends on what you are searching for to buy online. You can decide to either buy from the Ishtar or from the junior app and you can see that if you're someone that wants to buy from the amazon the amazon has a whole lot of procedures before you can if you're an african wanting to buy things online i will actually recommend you use the jumia or the ishtar app to make your purchase or to buy or to shop things online whatever image you might need to buy i will actually recommend this thank you for which i believe this information was actually useful to you please don't forget to click on the share subscribe to this channel more videos coming up on my next video i did the shopping in which i talked about on jumia so i'll be doing the unboxing and the review so please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned more videos coming up have a blessed day